China has now released fresh images of 3i Atlas, and these frames reveal features that were missing from NASA's last public update. The Chinese observations show a noticeably brighter coma, a broader dust cloud, and a sudden increase in brightness that was not present in NASA's earlier material. This ancient wanderer, estimated to be billions of years old, made its closest approach to Mars on October 3rd. And during that time, Chinese scientists captured several remarkable snapshots. What stands out is that these changes occurred during the exact hours when NASA recorded no data, raising new questions about what may have been missed and why the object appeared so different in China's images. The new Chinese frames depict an object that looks dramatically altered. The coma visible in their data appears nothing like the calm. Stable structure NASA showed just hours before. Fresh images of 3 I Atlas only the third interstellar object ever observed from Earth, immediately highlighted these differences. As soon as the measurements were analyzed, the object's altered form became clear. The first set of images revealed a sharp surge in brightness throughout the coma. This cloud of gas and dust surrounding the icy core had expanded to nearly 400, 000 kilometers across roughly three times the diameter of Earth and far larger than anything NASA recorded before the observational gap. This marked the first known instance where a glow was seen ahead of the object. Facing toward the Sun, the outer edges of the cloud appeared unusually sharp, and internal light levels rose rapidly within a brief window that does not appear in any Western data set. The direction of the tail provided another important clue. NASA's final images showed the tail pointing straight away from the sun in a steady, predictable line. In contrast, the new Chinese frame showed a slight bend toward the sun, indicating that the dust flow shifted during the blackout period. Such a bend can occur when new jets suddenly open on the surface, and it confirms that material was released in a direction not seen in NASA's earlier observations. From the imagery, Scientists also confirm that the object is active, reinforcing the conclusion that it is indeed a comet. The distribution of dust within the coma also differed noticeably. The brightness pattern suggested the presence of larger dust grains mixed into the cloud, something absent from NASA's pre-gap readings. Larger grains typically appear when deeper layers of a comet begin to fracture under increasing heat. The uneven, layered structure seen in the coma supports this interpretation especially when compared with NASA's earlier data, which showed a thinner and more uniform dust cloud. As the sun directs solar wind toward the comet, the material is pushed behind it, shaping the tail. Spectroscopic analysis revealed yet another key detail. The new Chinese frames showed a stronger carbon dioxide signature than what NASA detected before the gap. Such an increase points to deeper ice layers warming and escaping into space. This kind of release can happen rapidly when sunlight reaches regions of the surface that were previously shaded. All of these changes occurred within a narrow time window that only one country managed to observe. The altered coma, the bent tail, the presence of larger dust grains, and the stronger carbon dioxide signal all belong to a phase that NASA never publicly recorded. According to space telescope data, the gas plume around the object is dominated by carbon dioxide making up about 95% of its mass. This is why the new images are so important. They capture the moment when the object responded to sunlight in a way that does not appear in Western observations and provide the first clear evidence of rapid behavioral change in 3 I Atlas. This update represents a major development, possibly one of the most significant discoveries in the solar system in recent times. Before the blackout period, NASA released several images of 3 I Atlas that depicted a stable object with a thin coma, a straight tail, and no sudden increase in brightness. While the comet already appeared unusual, nothing in those frames suggested it was entering a more active phase. After that release, the flow of new material seemed to pause. The observational gap that followed is precisely the interval China monitored in full. NASA's public archive contains no raw images from the perihelion passage. The point at which a comet comes closest to the sun perihelion is the most critical phase for observation because solar radiation intensely heats the surface, vaporizing ice and driving the strongest activity. During this time, materials can be destroyed by sunlight before they ever become visible again. Yet NASA did not publish brightness curves for those hours. 
nor did it release updated dust measurements or tail structure data. When NASA's next update appeared, the object had already moved away from its most active region, meaning the changes seen in China's images do not appear anywhere in NASA's public records. NASA explained the gap as routine downtime for instrument calibration, a standard practice at observatories. Unfortunately, this maintenance window coincided with perihelion, the very moment when continuous observation is most valuable for understanding how an object responds to solar heating. NASA also did not directly address the clear differences between its final images and the new data from China. Where NASA showed a thin coma, China recorded a larger and brighter one. Where NASA showed a straight tail, China observed a bend. Where NASA detected only a weak carbon dioxide signal, China measured a much stronger one. These discrepancies remain unresolved because NASA has not released matching observations from the same period. The agency has not challenged China's measurements, nor has it provided alternative frames showing similar activity. China documented the exact hours missing from NASA's sequence, and those hours contain the changes that define the object's appearance in the new images, until NASA releases data from the same window. Both datasets will continue to present two different perspectives of the same event. The missing frames are especially important because perihelion is the only time when a comet exposes its internal structure. As sunlight penetrates deeper layers, different types of ice vaporize at different temperatures, each leaving a distinct chemical signature. Without uninterrupted observations through this phase, scientists lose the ability to track how surface layers erode and how the chemistry evolves. China's images captured these transformations while NASA's record ended before the reactions began. Another crucial factor is the timing of the dust release. The size and velocity of ejected grains help researchers determine how strongly the surface material is bound together, offering clues about whether the comet formed in a colder or warmer region of its original star system. China's measurements captured the beginning of this release, giving scientists a crucial reference point that shows how the surface reacted as temperatures increased. NASA's dataset ends before the active phase began so it cannot provide this baseline. When both records are placed in chronological order, the change becomes easy to see. The comet NASA observed before perihelion and the comet China observed during perihelion are the same object, seen at two different stages of solar heating, with the signals and alignments falling within a probability of about 0.6%. This behavior is typical for icy bodies that pass close to the sun. The outer layers can remain quiet until sunlight penetrates to deeper ice. Once that buried ice warms, the surface can transform in a matter of hours. NASA documented the calm stage, while China recorded the moment when the surface began to respond. The first clear difference appears in the coma. NASA's final images showed a thin halo that faded smoothly at the edges. China observed a much broader halo with sharper boundaries and stronger brightness throughout the cloud. That expansion indicates gas and dust were released from the surface during the missing window, a phase NASA did not capture. Near perihelion, heat can move through cracks and pores in the ice and reach deeper reservoirs. When this happens, the ice can rupture outward, carrying material that creates a brighter and more extended coma. The structure of the tail also changed during this interval. NASA recorded a straight tail pointing directly away from the sun China documented a slight curve toward the sun, suggesting that dust was pushed in a new direction. This can occur when a surface jet opens at an angle different from earlier flows. Even a modest jet can alter the tail's shape because the dust is light and travels great distances once released. These shifts are consistent with activity seen in many comets as they approach perihelion. Brightness measurements show the most striking contrast. NASA detected a gradual, steady increase in light, while China recorded a sharp rise that occurred within a short period. Such a jump can happen when deeper ice fractures and releases gas in a single outburst. NASA's observations end before this moment, which is why the sudden increase appears only in China's brightness curve. Events like this have well-documented precedents. Comet 17P slash Holmes, for example, brightened by a factor of roughly 500. 000 in about 42 hours in October 2007 when subsurface ice vaporized almost all at once. The change seen in 3 I Atlas is far smaller, but the pattern is similar. 
Comets often show their strongest response at closest approach to the sun, and that response can unfold rapidly. Dust composition provides another clue. NASA's data showed mostly fine particles, which typically come from the outermost surface layers. China detected larger grains mixed throughout the coma, indicating that deeper layers were exposed. Larger grains form when material breaks away from stronger bonds beneath the surface. They do not travel far unless a new jet opens, so their presence confirms that heating reached greater depths during the missing hours. China's measurements also improved estimates of the comet's trajectory. Additional data gathered during the active phase reduced positional uncertainty by about 30%. When the coma expands and jets form, small forces act on the nucleus and can slightly alter its path. By capturing the moment when these forces were strongest, China added information that NASA did not have. None of these differences suggest a conflict between the two datasets. They describe the same comet observed at two different moments. NASA recorded the stable phase before perihelion. China recorded the active phase during the closest solar passage. The contrast arises from timing, and the missing hours contain the reactions that explain why the comet appeared so different in each record. What this means for 3i Atlas now is that perihelion observations reveal a much stronger response to solar heating than earlier data implied. Before perihelion, the comet appeared calm and predictable. During closest approach, it behaved like an object under sudden stress. That brief interval reshaped the coma, bent the tail, and increased the brightness in ways NASA never recorded. A quiet visitor became a far more dynamic object. Only in the past decade have scientists begun detecting interstellar objects, making this a new frontier. It remains unclear whether such visitors pass through our solar system in the distant past without being noticed. The broader and brighter coma seen in China's images is the clearest sign of the change. A coma forms when ice turns to gas and carries dust away from the surface. In the pre-perihelion images, the cloud remained compact and faint. During the active phase, expanded to a much larger scale. Such growth means deeper ice layers began to vaporize. The surface did more than warm. Sections opened and released stored material. Changes in grain size within the coma reinforce this conclusion, as NASA's data pointed mainly to fine dust, which usually comes from loose material on the outer crust. China detected larger particles distributed throughout the coma. These heavier grains are more difficult to lift from the surface, so their presence indicates that deeper, more tightly bound material was released. This points to a nucleus with a layered structure. We're older. Compact ice lies beneath a softer outer shell. The change in the tail provides another clue about how this activity was shaped. Comet tails form as sunlight and the solar wind pulled dust away from the sun NASA observed a straight tail following this expected direction, while China recorded a slight curve back toward the sun. That bend suggests a surface jet diverted dust away from the main flow. Even a relatively small jet can tilt the tail if it remains active long enough and the angle seen in the images helps narrow down the region on the surface where the jet likely formed. Brightness data show that this was not a slow or gradual process. NASA measured a steady increase in light as the comet approached the sun China. However, observed a sharp jump confined to a short interval. This pattern matches a sudden venting event, where a sealed pocket of ice fractures. Gas escapes rapidly, and the coma brightens almost at once. Afterward, the brightness resumes a more gradual rise, because NASA's observations ended before this surge began. The spike appears only in China's measurements. The stronger carbon dioxide signal in China's spectra connects these changes. Carbon dioxide ice is more volatile than water ice at close distances to the sun, but is often buried deeper beneath the surface. When sunlight finally reaches these hidden layers, the gas escapes and leaves a clear chemical signature. NASA's weaker detection suggests those layers remain sealed during its observing window. China's stronger signal shows that the buried ices were exposed during the unobserved hours. China's updated orbital solution reflects the physical impact of these gas releases. When material is expelled in a preferred direction, it exerts a small push on the nucleus. This non-gravitational force can slightly alter the object's path over time. 
Additional measurements taken during the active phase reduced uncertainty in the orbit and narrowed the range of possible future positions. This confirms that the outburst did not turn 3 I Atlas into a hazard, while also showing that its motion is not entirely passive. For comet researchers, these observations offer a rare opportunity to test models of interstellar objects. 3 I Atlas will not return on a closed orbit, arrive from interstellar space, and will leave again, carrying its history with it. Each shift in brightness, tail shape, and chemistry provides clues about the environment in which it formed. The elevated carbon dioxide levels suggest a cold origin rich in volatile ices. The presence of heavier dust points to a long period of slow compaction within the nucleus. The sudden burst near perihelion shows that these layers can remain stable for millions of years and still react violently when heated. This event also underscores how critical continuous coverage is. With only NASA's data, astronomers would see a relatively mild and uneventful comet. When China's perihelion images are added, the same object becomes a clear example of rapid activation. That contrast influences how future interstellar visitors should be studied. It highlights the need for dense monitoring around perihelion and shorter maintenance gaps when rare objects reach peak heating. At present, 3 I Atlas is moving away from the sun and cooling. Its coma will gradually contract as gas production declines. The tail will thin and stretch into a more regular shape. Follow-up observations with ground-based telescopes in both hemispheres are planned to track how quickly the coma shrinks, how long any jets remain active, and whether the chemical composition returns to its pre-perihelion state. Eventually, all these stages will be combined into a single continuous record. The calm approach observed by NASA, the sudden outburst captured by China, and the fading trail that follows will together form a complete timeline. That timeline shows how an interstellar object responds to a star it did not form around. In this sense, 3 I Atlas is more than just a comet. It is a physical sample of another star system's building material. And the perihelion images reveal that those materials are far more reactive than they initially appeared. China's new images fill the only missing segment in the observational history of 3 I Atlas. NASA's sequence ends before the object became active while China's begins during that active phase, when the images are arranged in order. The missing hours emerge as the turning point that explains why the comet appeared so different in each dataset. The expansion of the coma, the shift in the tail, the stronger carbon dioxide signal, and the sudden rise in brightness all occurred during the period that only China observed. These features document how the surface responded once sunlight reached deeper layers and marked the transition from a quiet state to an active one. China's measurements also refined the predicted path of the object. Additional data gathered during intense solar heating reduced uncertainty in its trajectory and produced a clearer forecast of how it will move as it leaves the inner solar system. This confirms that the activity seen in the new images was real and not an artifact of measurement. The significance of these observations is straightforward. NASA captured the object before it reacted to sunlight. China captured it during that reaction. Both described the same comet at different moments. And the new images fill the gap that held the explanation for its changing appearance. These findings do not point to anything beyond natural comet behavior. They show how an interstellar object responds when sunlight reaches fresh layers of ice and dust. This behavior matters because interstellar comets carry material from other star systems. Each measurement helps scientists compare how different planetary systems form and evolve. As 3 I Atlas continues to move away from the Sun, its surface will settle again. The brief surge in activity will remain preserved only in the frames taken during the missing window. Those images record the single moment when the object revealed its most active state. And that is why this release is important. It completes the record and provides the missing context needed to understand how the comet behaved at the peak of solar heating.